All right guys, thanks for joining us. It's 4.30 in the morning. Today we're targeting Barracuda actually. And uh, let's see what else we can bump into. We're targeting the Barracudas today. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be exciting. We're gonna keep one if we can catch one. We're gonna surf launch right now, 4.30. I'll get the kayak on the beach by 5.30. And yeah, it should be a good day. I'm really hoping I can get it out of the way early. Uh, let's get out there. I didn't, have co I didn't have coffee today though. That was like the biggest mistake I did today as I skipped coffee. We got some angry skies, but I think it's residual stuff from overnight, so we should be okay. Hope we get to like 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and we start heading in. I think that's this kind of day, 9 o'clock and turning around. Yeah, I can sell us throwing off a couple of swells here. All right, we're targeting these barracudas on wrecks with these tubes. The same tubes basically you use for stripers and bluefish. Tubes are very popular lures for barracuda. Live bait would have worked great, like Spanish mackerel, for example, but there was none of that available. Weather window is very short, actually. Oh, missed him. He was on there. Yep. I would have missed him. But, uh, damn, that was a serious hit, though. You got one. He's he's behind you. Dropped him. So this is one of those days that just didn't work out. You can see the weather is starting to take a dive on us pretty quickly. Um, I missed a couple of fish right away, and uh, from here uh, I'm going to make the move to say let's uh, go bottom fishing and pack it in. And uh, as the wind's picking up, the swell's going to start building. We got to hike back to the beach and to surf land. So a lot of things working against us right here. So some days it just doesn't work out. So uh, here's what we're going to do to salvage the day. Well, I went 0 for 3 on the Barracuda. Had three hits. Two were real good ones. I'm going to give it another try later in the week. I feel like my window has passed this morning already. So we're going to get on one wreck right here since we're right here and uh, see what we can catch for dinner. Maybe, maybe a grunt. It ain't easy out here. Naughty. Yeah, it's getting there. Like it yesterday. Mm. Longer period. If it gets any worse, we're definitely booking. It's going to be an interesting ride on our backs. Hand on the rudder the whole way. Hand on the rudder. That doesn't suck. That definitely doesn't suck at all. Oh, I know. I think I'm starting to figure out what this is. Is it the big toad? It might be. Dang. Dang. Dang, I don't have my net. It's a nice fluke. Damn. On the crab. Okay. I'll take a quick little peek. I know he. What's that? Everything eats, my fish. Everything eats crabs. You're right. Twenty-one. Well, it's not the barracuda, but I just did just gaff a flounder. I think that's the first time I've ever done that. And I missed his hat. I got him in the side, but this is a good. This is a good sized fish. And uh, yeah. On the crab. All right, we have to head in. Um, missed three kudas, the one 21 inch flounder on a crab. How long did we fish? Not even an hour, right? Like an hour tops. I feel like today could have been a slammer. I think it could have been a slammer day. Better safe than sorry. Um, I chased these kudas yesterday. I went 0 for 2 on them yesterday. And uh, yeah. Not too bad yet, but it's getting there. All right, now we get to Surfland, which should be okay. Should be, I think I'm just gonna hop out. All right, important little lesson. 
it looks like all the teeth marks on this tube are in the middle to top actually end of the tube and I have no teeth marks down here where the hook is that's leading me to believe these cooters are t-boning it so I gotta run a stinger hook from this barrel swivel somewhere to the middle here and uh, wherever I see the most bike marks and that might improve my hookup ratio for next time I'm learning I'm learning I'm a slow learner and I'm stubborn as hell I'm running a wire leader I broke off fish the other day for not running a wire leader and of course a ball bearing swivel you absolutely need this otherwise this wire is gonna get twisted up and foobar no good all right I learned a lesson learning learning I'm a slow learner all right so we're gonna try something I have never tried before we're actually gonna eat the flounder belly raw I've always heard it's a delicacy and it's very good to eat Usually most anglers are going to use that flounder belly for bait. Some people discard it. I've tried it cooked and I didn't like the texture cooked. Somebody left a comment the other week of a recipe for salmon. It's a Korean recipe for a soy sauce marinade that I thought was really unique and looked really good. So I said, let's try this with flounder. So I'm really not going to get too much into detail of the, the filleting. We've done this a bunch of times, so you can go check out those videos. But anyway, let's get into the preparation. Here we go. All right, so this section of meat, uh, I've always heard how good it is. This is called the ribbons. Well, it's nicknamed the ribbons. We'll basically take this little layer out and skin it, and it's supposed to be delicious raw. I'm not a fan of it cooked. I've tried it cooked before, and I thought the texture was kind of off. So we're gonna try something a little different today. So basically they're like these little fat strips. Um, it's a little tough to get them off the, the skin properly. Okay, right here is my piece of flounder. Um, overnight I wrapped it in paper towels so it absorbs any moisture that's going to be emitted. It's dry, it hasn't been rinsed. I just spent a minute brushing off any scales. That right there is where I, where I gaffed the fish. I'm going to cut that little part out. You know, metal touched it, I don't know. Um, but basically the, the fillet is clean, no water. It's been kept at 35 degrees overnight. Um, yes, there is some risk associated to eating any raw fish, but um, I've done much riskier things in my life. We're gonna cut this guy up and serve him with the, the belly strips also. This should be good. I'm hoping this is gonna come out great. All right, so we portioned down the actual filet. Now we're gonna work on the belly strips. All right, so there's our belly strips. That's supposed to be our, our main focus and our actual filet meat. Uh, I went with kind of like bite-sized morsels. So uh, next, let's check on the sauce and start preparing it. Three quarters of a cup of soy sauce. Three quarters of a cup of water. Yeah, that was just the residual soy sauce. Sorry for the yellow. Yes, I know it looks strange. And a quarter cup of sugar. That's really all we need here. And we're gonna heat that up. All right, we're all good here. Let's reduce that. All right, so we gotta let this cool off, right? I'm gonna let this get down to room temperature and then I'm gonna refrigerate it. So the fish is gonna go back in the fridge right now. Okay, so first step, we're gonna add our fish to the bowl. Onions, lemon, some jalapenos, and our, here's our final step. Okay, okay, we're gonna refrigerate this for three hours. I'm um, gonna make some rice, and there we go. Looks good, man. I'm excited to try this. I think it's gonna be real good. I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper right now too, and uh, that's it. Okay, it's been three hours, so. Uh, I've seen recipes that call from 3 hours to 6 hours to 12 hours to 24 hours. Since flounder is kind of lean, I'm betting 3 hours is going to be more than enough. But we'll try it all different ways. Since I've never tried this before, uh, 3 hours taste test. Here we go. Oh, look at that glaze, man. Alright, let's give it a try. Alright, there's the belly strip too. The belly strip has kind of a unique texture. It's good. That marinade is really good. I feel like three hours is actually more than enough. Um, even with the flounder, maybe an hour would be good. Of all the fish dishes I've prepared, I think this might actually be like, at least short term, that might be my favorite. Um, I love the salty and sweet flavors going with the flounder. That's a really unique way to prepare fish. The belly meat does not have a fish-like texture. It's more of a, it's almost like a beefy type of texture. It looks like it would be really soft, but it's not. It's just like the membrane holding the belly meat together is very brittle. Uh, it's definitely something that you're either gonna love or you hate. Raw, I really liked it. I don't like it cooked. It just gets an off texture when you cook that belly meat, but raw, it's great. But anyway, this recipe is amazing with flounder. 
Um, I saw salmon is the most used one in Korea, uh, but I can imagine this working great with Spanish Max. That's what I really want to try it with. Flounder is real, a real good choice. And I, I guess any fattier or oilier fish would work. I don't know about tuna, maybe, uh, but damn, that's really good. That is really unique, and it's a really good flavor of fish. And if you like fish raw and if, you know it's ceviche and all that other stuff, man, that's really good. I can't, I can't say enough good things about this one. Uh, definitely give it a try if you're adventurous. I think you'll you'll thank me and you know thanks to the subscriber that that showed me that recipe. I'll put a link in the description of the actual Korean preparation that I found and you know kind of modeled this off of. So it wasn't a great day of fishing. I learned a lot though, man. For the tubes, I got to change the hook situation. That was a great way to cook flounder. Um, the belly strips, I'm into it. Um, I learned a lot. You know, slow day of fishing, still picking away at a couple of new things, new tricks. We're gonna make that again in the future for sure. Um, if anyone knows the, the technical term of what it is, does it have a name or is it just marinated salmon? Please just comment. I'm sure you can adjust it to your own taste as you go along. Every fish is probably different. Leaner fish does not need as much soy sauce and sugar. It probably cures faster as well. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. That was really good. It's not slammer every time. It can't be. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch up with you guys later.